Loving when you do me right there Yeah Loving when you do me like that finally a new year which means that Valentine's Day is coming up so I decided to do something for Valentine's Day. I wanted to keep this look very subtle and on the pink side this is actually my first attempt doing a halo look. I really hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys would like to see how I achieved this look please keep on watching. Oh boy I'ma have to call them boys on you. So I already went in with my Fenty Beauty Primer. I just didn't think it was necessary to add that. And yes, I like to keep my makeup packaging because if it's cute, I'm gonna keep it, okay? Okay, so for foundation today, we're gonna be using the L'Oreal Paris True Match. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. And the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And I will put the shades down in the description box below for you guys, so check that out. I've been using tea tree oil for my face recently and oh my god guys you need to go get it and make sure it's the advanced clinicals one because my face has drastically changed I pour too much I wish this foundation had a pump honestly cuz I wish all foundations had pumps like that should be a law. I basically used the, like 90% of the L'Oreal True Match. Look how messy it is. Oh my god. <laughs> and then like the other 10%, the White Wild. I'm just gonna wipe that on a napkin because it's like all over my hand. And I'm just gonna go in with my Real Techniques um, blending sponge. So my first cheer game is this Tuesday. What is that? I'm so excited to be performing with my girls. We have been practicing for about like two months now. Like all of our cheers and it's not, it's not gonna be anything crazy, but I'm just really excited because this is my first time. And like, I'm excited to wear my uniform and dress up, do some stunts just kidding we're not we're not that advanced yet but we're working on stunts i haven't done my hair like this in a while so i'm really liking it i did it like this because i wanted to practice doing my hair half up half down because for cheer we have to do that so i, I was just like practicing and i actually wasn't like expecting it to turn out this good but it came out good now that the foundation is on i'm gonna use my la girl pro concealer and just Use that to conceal and highlight my face. Okay, in my opinion, I don't think that I use a lot of concealer. Like, what do you guys think? Because I, like, watching a lot of YouTube people, they put on so much concealer and I'm like, dang! I don't know, maybe it's just me. I don't put concealer on like this on a daily basis. I would never do that. I usually, like, just, like, Go like that, that, chin, forehead, nose, done. I had a dream last night that I was working at my old workplace again. Oh my god, that was a freaking nightmare. If, no, if you guys don't know where I used to work at, it was Cousin Subs. For those who are wondering, I am currently unemployed right now just because I have so much going on in my life. I have like, a, I have cheer and then I'm like part of this youth organization thing. And I just, I don't know, it takes up a lot of my time because I have a lot of practices plus games. And then the organization thing is like every Tuesday. If, if I get employed, it's like I also don't have a car. It's just gonna be harder for my family to take me to work because I hate depending on people like, I just hate it so much so I'm really excited to be filming a skincare routine for you guys oh by the way I'm just going into my airspun translucent powder but yeah I'm gonna be filming my skincare routine for you guys soon I just don't know when but I really want to get to it so I will try my best to keep up with that 
so now that the face is set we're just gonna move on straight to the eyes oh my god guys i went to goodwill the other day and i found this jar for only 99 cents i was so happy because i've been trying to look for a makeup brush holder for the longest time it has like a really big hole at the top so it's like really fittable for your um, brushes. So if you guys need good brush holders, either, either either go to Dollar Tree or Goodwill. I promise you, yes. Anyways, what was I going to do? I talked too much, so. Sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with this like brush. I don't know. And I'm just going to go in with this like mustard yellow orange color. If you guys can see what I'm doing. I really want to move to California or Hawaii because the warm weather. I just can't. I honestly, like I've been to Florida before and I don't like the temperatures. It's way too hot. Like I love Florida and everything, but I just cannot deal with like that kind of weather. Like it's just so hot. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. This one. With a, like this eco tools like two-sided brush i don't know what it is but it's just like more dense i'm just gonna pack that on the outer area of my eye hope you guys can see what i'm doing nice by the way the reason why i'm not saying the colors for the palette is because my boyfriend like took the the color chart thing whatever yeah, I don't know why he took it, but I th he was like looking at it when he bought it for me, so, and then he opened it and I guess he forgot to put it back, but that's okay. I guess I don't really need it. You know what? I'm actually just going to slap this onto the whole lid area because I'm going to attempt to do a subtle halo eye. Okay, now I'm just going to fluff that out with the same fluffy brush that I used to blend everything. Okay, so I'm going to carve out the middle of my lid to make a halo eye with my concealer. Not sure what that is, but we're going to work with it. Okay, so I'm just going to go back in with the same shadow I've been working with, and I'm just going to deepen my crease. So for my lid color, I'm going to be taking my Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm going to be taking the shade Primavera. I think that means spring in Spanish. <laughs> okay, but yeah, it's like right there. It's that gold color. I did that. <laughs> this is my first halo eye attempt ever in my freaking entire life. Guys, I feel like my brows are like looking kind of crusty, so I'm just gonna like fix them real quick. For those who wonder why I don't really do brow highlight, it's not because I don't do it, it's because I forget to do it. But I'm gonna remember today, and I'm gonna use this color from the Jaclyn Hill palette. This color and just use that for my brow highlight so these are the lashes that I will be using don't look at the top ones because those are not part of this pack I got these at TJ Maxx for like eight dollars sorry the ring lights like reflecting but yeah and these are dupes for the salon perfect I want to say 615 lashes but I'm not sure but these are dupes for them and they're way cheaper I think they're like probably a dollar or two cheaper I love how long these lashes are. Now, let's move on to the under eyes. 
yes i'm finally gonna do the under eyes before my lips i always like forget about the under eye i'm gonna take this color right here <gasps> oh my gosh it got in my nail <gasps> oh my god there's a freaking mark in it now well, look where is it yeah right there you see that i freaking did that with my nail i did it again Okay, you know what? I'm just not going to show you. I'm pretty sure you guys know. Okay, wait. It's this one. I'm going to take that one. Where is my palette? I'm just going to take that and put that on my under eyes. Okay, so now I'm just going to coat my bottom lashes real quick. Guys, I really want to learn how to lay my edges. Holy crap, y'all see that bald spot? This is the longest I've ever been with freaking foundation on my lips, and I'm mad because that's disgusting, and my lips are chapped. I don't know where my lipstick is, or my chapstick is. I'm gonna line my waterline with this RK by Kiss white pencil. And now we're gonna move on to contour. I swear, I lost like all of my bronzers, so I'm just like stuck with this Sephora palette. Well, I almost dropped it. So I'm just going to take this Equal Tools angled brush and I'm going to be using this shade and this shade. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this contour. This shit is looking kind of muddy and your girl is kind of lazy. Okay, we're just going to leave it like that. Before we mess it up even more oh my gosh guys the amount of foundation on my lips was so gross but anyways for blush today i'm gonna be going in with my anastasia blush trio sorry and peachy love oh my god these colors are gorgeous i think i'm gonna go in with this one because it's um like pretty subtle and it matches like with my eyeshadow nectarine nectarine <laughs> yeah it's like right okay whatever so i'm just going to be taking this brush it's from elf and it's called the blush brush oh, wait i forgot to contour my nose i'm just going to go in with the shade raw sienna from the modern renaissance palette which is this Sometimes I feel like I'm just making my nose look bigger. <laughs> now, it's time for highlight. I really wanted to make the highlight part drugstore, so I'm going to be using the e.l.f. highlighter in the shade Moonlight Pearls. This is very affordable. It's like, what, three or four dollars at Target. So I'm just going to take my fan brush. The top isn't always pigmented. Like, as you can see, you can like barely see that, right? So. I'm just going to take something to scrape off the top with. So I'm going to take these little scissors and I'm just going to scrape off the top. It's like falling all, all over my desk, but that's okay. Now I'm going to see what it looks like. Oh, yes. 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 I just realized that I forgot to put some highlighter in my inner corners. So I'm just going to go in with my Lorac palette and use Snow, which is just a white eyeshadow. So I just put on my fake nose ring. I'm debating if I want to get a real one. I just don't know because like I'm 16 and that's pretty young for a piercing. And my parents aren't the best supporters of piercings or tattoos, but I'm not planning on getting any tattoos. But for now, I'm just going to stick to fake ones. So I just got some foundation off and wiped off the excess makeup on my lips. I'm going to go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. And it's drugstore, so that's really good too. Oh my god, that was one of the weirdest sneezes I've ever had in my life. So this is the finished 
look I'm really happy with how this came out I am so surprised by how my halo eye came out I think this is a very very nice look for Valentine's Day it's very flirty very pink and just very romantic I love everything about it it's very natural as well I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you all so much for watching it really means the world to me and I'll see you until next time bye guys I said I don't mind in my business but you ain't with it I know you want to check up on me but today I don't want it